When it came to identifying the remains on the beaches of D-Day, it was sometimes as simple as looking for the dog tags worn around someone's neck. For remains found with identification tags, the standard practice was to bury the remains with one tag while sending the duplicate back for registration purposes. However, the chaos and bloodshed of D-Day did not always mean that bodies would be found with dog tags conveniently spelling out the deceased name and company. Instead, some were forced to dig deeper in order to connect a body with an identity and a family back home. Graves registration personnel could also look through a deceased's personal effects, which might include driver's licenses, letters, and even clothing. They might also turn to fingerprints and dental records to make a positive identification. 